Are you purging or are you breaking out? Don't pick your skin, big bandage. Welcome back to the Acne Channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. The other day, I got a message on Instagram, and this woman commented, "I don't believe in purging. It's a myth." But that simply isn't true. Purging can happen, but it does get confused with a breakout. So this video is gonna give you some pointers to figure out whether your skin is actually breaking out or purging when it comes to trying a new skincare product. First of all, what is a skin purge? It's a reaction a skin has, and usually it's a certain ingredients that actually stimulate skin cell turnover. So think retinols, vitamin C, AHAs, so glycolic acid, malic acid, mandelic acid. Also think BHAs like salicylic acid. Most of these active ingredients get rid of the top layer of your dead skin cells, bringing up whatever was clogged underneath your skin to the surface. So as a result, blockages come up to the surface sooner than they normally would. The good thing is these spots that come up to the surface heal a lot quicker than your standard breakout. After the purge, the products that you're using should leave your skin feeling refreshed and this is a sign that your skin actually loves the new products. So the skin purging phase usually lasts from four to six weeks but it also depends on your own skin cell turnover rate and that's usually about 28 days to 31 days. Give or take a couple of days after six weeks. Also your purging phases shouldn't be itchy, swollen or painful and it often happens in areas that are acne prone. So the thing is with some products you can't entirely skip the purging phase but you can and reduce the severity of it. Okay, tip number one is introduce the product slowly into your routine so your skin isn't like freaking out that there's this new strong product. So that also means tip number two, using a chemical exfoliant in lower concentrations. So sometimes on the bottle it says 0.5% of retinol or 1% of retinol. So just double check with the concentration, start slowly and start at lower concentrations. And also if you have really sensitive skin and you wanna use a chemical exfoliant and it's a lotion, instead of using it as a overnight lotion, you can use it as a mask. So wearing it for five to 10 minutes and then washing it off. See how your skin reacts, because you might be allergic to some of these ingredients. And if your skin feels okay, you can start using it for a little bit longer. You can apply the lotion for one hour and then wash it off. And eventually when your skin adapts to it, you can use it as an overnight lotion. And with time, your skin will get used to it. Other than that, you have to pull through and just give your skin time to really adjust. If you're not gonna give your skin time to adjust to the new product, sometimes you can be missing out on really great ingredients. So when is it a breakout? Well, when you think of acne, it's clogged pores and it's flamed and it's red and it can be caused by a number of issues like hormones, internal imbalances, but we're just gonna focus on whether you're breaking out because of a product. And these are the main indicators. You're most likely breaking out if you're using skincare that doesn't actually have ingredients that exfoliate your skin. So thinking about chemical acids, if you're using skincare that doesn't have ingredients that stimulate skin cell turnover rate, then it's most likely breaking you out by clogging your pores and causing more congestion. So thinking about thick moisturizers, thinking about cleansers, thinking about makeup that add extra layers to your skin without actually exfoliating. So that's one indicator. The next one is if your breakout is super itchy and it's swollen and it's throbbing underneath your skin. Also with breakouts, you're breaking out in new areas. I remember I was trying out this new ingredient and my skin was just flaring up in all different places, especially my chin and my forehead. And I don't usually break out there. It's mostly my cheeks, but it was like a full blown breakout and it took me so long to recover. These are the images and it's just like, ah, oh, it's so tough, you know, so I completely feel you if you're going through this. And if you don't see an improvement after the six week mark, as I said previously, then it's important to ditch your products. Now, when you're breaking out, it could be really tempting to really pop your pimples because you can see the pus, um, but don't do it. Please don't do it. It's just gonna cause further scarring. Try to refrain from doing that. I highly recommend you to kind of distract yourself. You can put a really nice hydrating soothing mask or you can make sure you keep an arm's length from the mirror, that really helps. And loud affirmations that this breakout is gonna to be tough, but ditch the products and go back to what works. And make sure you have an old routine that you can fall back onto, because if you don't, then your breakout is gonna last a lot longer, months, years, if you don't have something that you can fall back on. So just be very, very careful when you're introducing new products as well. Just a reminder that our skin and skincare can be quite complex. So it requires a process of trial and error. It requires a little bit of patience and resilience. You've got this. Stay strong and big kisses. Bye guys.